we have a zebra crossing just around the corner here. So first to identify the zebra crossing, we can see black and white beacons with the flashing amber lights, the Belisha beacons. So we must scan left and right for anyone looking to cross. What I forgot to mention as well is you must also approach with caution, almost treating like a T-junction. So slowing right down into the crossing and scanning until you can see it's clear to proceed. For example, there's a lady to the right here looking to cross, so I'll stop behind the line and give way to her. And when she's fully crossed, have another check. Really important to make sure a pedestrian has fully crossed the road and they're completely off the crossing. If they're still on the crossing, even if they're on the other side of the road, you will be penalised on your driving test. You must make sure they've fully crossed. Make sure there's no one else looking to cross and then proceed. Now you may have noticed the crossing is split into two parts with a central island in the middle. Now according to the highway code, you treat this as two separate crossings. So technically, I did not need to stop for the lady on the right. However, I find it's generally best practice to do this. Better safe than sorry. In summary, identify the crossing and approach of caution. Be ready to stop. Scan left and right, giving way to any pedestrians you want to cross. Only proceed when the crossing is completely clear and there's no more pedestrians approaching looking to cross. Another important thing to remember is do not wave pedestrians to cross or flash them to cross the road. If you start waving them to cross, think about where they're going to be looking. They're going to be looking at you, trying to thank you. And if they're looking at you, they're not looking for traffic coming from another direction. And they're not looking for the vehicle that's about to overtake you. And then they could get hit by one of these. Think back to when you last crossed the road and someone waved you across. When they waved you across, were your observations as good as they were normally? Or did you rush across, try not to delay them? If you don't give way to a pedestrian on a zebra crossing on a driving test, you're very likely going to get a serious fault and fail your driving test as you haven't followed the rules of the road. You may be thinking, why are the examiners so harsh to fail you if you don't give way to a pedestrian? Well, you have to remember, the pedestrians have priority. Because of this, often they will not check properly before crossing. Like this lady on the left here. Doesn't look like she looked towards my car at all. Or this guy approaching from the left. Is he looking for traffic approaching a crossing, or is he looking at his phone? Of course, he should be looking for traffic before he crosses. If he gets hit by a car, it's kind of his fault in some ways. But you're training to get a full driving licence, so you need to rise above this and give way to any pedestrians who are approaching a crossing, even if they're not looking. Being courteous at zebra crossings can also be a bit of a highlight of your day and put a bit of a smile on your face. Braintree? <laughs> <laughs> she probably doesn't expect people to stop, does she? Probably most people just don't, don't look and just didn't see an old lady as well. They especially don't look and don't stop. But she walked quite fast, didn't she? She, she did. Is.